Good morning, MCHS. I'm your host, Mark Justin. And I'm Christopher McDonald. On today's show, we'll take a look at the MCHS Primo Christmas concert, the JV boys basketball team, and Amber St. Dennis' highlights of the MCHS juggler Jordan Imgrund Harvey. But first, here's our top story. The student teacher hockey game is an annual event at MCHS which pits the hopeful grade 12 NHL wannabes against a hardened teacher squad just before Christmas holidays. It was no surprise that once again the teachers mopped the floor with the students. Bradford Bullock brings us the story. On December 22nd, MCHS had its annual student teacher hockey game. The grade 12 squared off with the current and former teachers of MCHS in Primo. Teacher Mr. Hay told me about this year's grade 12 squad and how they compared to last year's team. Good, better than last year. A little more structure to their game, a little bit more stick handling, some set plays. Whether they've been practicing or uh, just more players, I don't know. Mr. Bodner of MCHS had yet another strong performance, although he missed an empty net goal that he played off pretty well. Oh no, that was a planned play. That was a planned play, I get Sammy his hat trick, that's all. Routine, we practice. This was Mr. Hayes' second year playing in the game, and he believes his experience from last year helped him out this year. Uh, maybe a little bit, know what to expect a little bit more. Definitely. Mr. Kortash talked about his shift on the ice and that he felt that he was the catalyst of his line. Well, I think that was going pretty well. I'm uh, just doing my best to keep my line together out there and feed him the puck as often as I can. Uh, it's been a while since either of them skated, so they're a little rusty out there, but uh, you know, I think I'm setting the tempo out there for them pretty good. Jasmine King, MCTV member and only female on the student team, didn't want anything more than to show up the guys on her team. Uh, not really. I just felt like I got to show up these guys because I'm the only one. Mr. Thompson, one of the school's new teachers, was sidelined by injury this year, but he didn't let that bring him down. Yeah, it'll be a good time. I wish I could play with the boys, but uh, injury has held me back. But yeah, it was the first time here. That I, this sounds like it's a pretty big event, and the guys are all excited to go out there and show the kids what it takes to play the game. When asked about his teammates, Mr. Kortash exposed Mr. Michael as one of the best dudes on the teacher's team. Yeah, no, uh, we've got a couple. I think uh, Mr. Michael out there, he's... Uh, you know, I've, I've seen better out of him. It's not his best game, but uh, he'll pick it up in the second half. Although she didn't score a goal, Jasmine didn't lose her happy spirit by only marking down an assist. Uh, a little bit, but I got some assists, so it worked out. The students took the loss this year, but Jasmine believes that if they had a rematch, they could certainly take down the teachers. Uh, I think we could probably beat them again if we got another chance. Just got to pass a little bit more this time. Captain Bo Cornell was a man of few words, but he did have this to say. I'm here to score goals. <laughs> the student-teacher hockey game was a blast yet again, with the teachers pulling out with this win. The students will look forward to next year's game as they have a chance to strike their revenge. For MCTV News, this is Bradford Bullock reporting. Welcome back. This week marks the beginning of classes in 2017, but also puts us only one week away from the dreaded January finals. Here to talk to us about tips and techniques to prepare for them is MCHS teacher Vanessa King. Hello, it's nice to have you on the show. Thanks for having me. Mm -hmm. First question, is there a minimum amount of time students have to spend on an exam? On an exam? Um, you get three hours to write and you have to be in the room for at least an hour, I believe. Mm -hmm. How difficult do you predict the exams will be exactly? <laughs> well, it depends how well you're prepped, right? If you're prepared for the exam, you'll be fine, but if you are uh, not going to study, if you haven't been doing the work all term, it's probably going to be kind of hard. Expected. Is there any tips you could offer to make the exams a little easier? I get the easiest thing is to do your homework all term. If you do your work all term, you're you know making those building blocks to a successful uh, exam. But uh, you have to study, cover everything in the course, but focus on the things that you don't know. Don't read all the stuff that you are already comfortable with. You know. Uh, so how long will the exams be going on for? 
Exactly. Uh, I think until the end of the month, basically, at the beginning of February, we start classes again for semester two. Mm -hmm. Will there be any type of review or practice tests out there that students could use to get a taste of what the test might be like? Um, well, your teachers usually provide you with some kind of review. Um, if you look at the exam schedule, there are review schedules on there so that you can go and talk to your teachers ahead of time, make sure that you have all the information you need. Basically, if you're proactive and you um, cover all your bases, you should be fine. Anyway, thanks for having, that's the end of the interview. Thanks for having us on the show. Thank you. <laughs> Coming back after the commercial br break, MCTV meteorologist Bradford Bullock will have a look at the weather for Canada and Alberta as well as Morinville's seven day forecast. Hey you teachers, are you sick of using the same old marking pen? Then it's time for you to get the magic marking pen. Unlike this ordinary marking pen that sucks and can't do anything, the magic marking pen can mark all your grades in a GIF and store whatever you write on its 50 kilobyte hard drive. And with its low, low price, teachers can totally afford it. Call now. Many companies try to sell you the pens you think you need. Pens with useless and overly complicated features, such as the ability to finish your homework for you, make you cooler, and even the ability to hack into the Pentagon. But here at Penco, we pride ourselves on our patented new age pens, with a 100% guarantee that the only thing this pen does is leak ink. Hey student! Who, me? Yes, you! Has this ever happened to you? Your teacher's about to give you all the answers in an upcoming test. But, aw oh man, you don't have a pen to write with. Alright guys, uh, bring out your pens. So I'm going to give you the answers to tomorrow's quiz. Oh no, only oh. had a pen to write this stuff with. Don't worry, Penko's got your back. Ding. Oh wow! Wow, thanks Pen. I can always rely on you. For a limited time, you too can get a pen at a low, low price of $99.99. Call soon while supplies last. Ink not included. What we have for weather on the west coast. Over here in Whitehorse, it's minus 18 degrees. Pretty cold day out there. It's snowing. Vancouver, it's a uh, lovely one degree with the sun out there. Hopefully they'll have some snow melt. Um, minus 27 in Yellowknife. That is super cold. I am glad I'm not there right now. Minus 27 Regina, but with some sun, maybe get out and they could be playing some hockey right now. Uh, minus 22 with snow in Winnipeg, and 7 degrees in Toronto and Montreal with some rain. At Callaway, it's minus 15, it's snowing. Could be worse, could be better. If you look over here in what we have in the East Coast, we have 9 degrees in Halifax with some rain and 3 degrees in St. John's. Now let's take a look at our provincial forecast. In high level, it is minus 23 with some snow. It's a very cold day. Um, it's minus 24 in Fort Mac. Um, fi minus 15 in Edmonton. It's pretty darn cold out there. Uh, minus 12 in Grand Prairie. Uh, minus 14 in Jasper and Banff. So if you get out some skiing, hopefully it's uh, pretty nice for you. Um, minus 16 in Red Deer and minus 15 in Calgary. Um, excuse me, minus 9 in Calgary and minus 15 in Medicine Hat. Let's take a look at our current conditions. It is minus 18 out right now, um, with 14 kilometer winds coming from the south. Relative humidity is at 74%, and the sun will rise at 845 and set at 441. Let's take a look at our seven day forecast. It is minus 15 out today, um, minus 5 tomorrow. Uh, starts warming up very nicely on the weekend, 2 degrees with sun on Saturday, same as Monday, excuse me, same as Sunday. 5 degrees with uh, some sun and cloud on Monday, Tuesday, and 6 degrees on Wednesday with a low of 2 degrees. Um, that is what I have for you for the weather, and we'll be coming back to Mark and Chris. On Tuesday, December 20th, the school bands from MCHS and Primo joined forces and held their annual Christmas concert at the Morinville Community Cultural Center. 
Spectators were treated to a me medley of holiday day favorites just in time for Santa's arrival. Reporter William Doney brings us this story. As the band students and teachers prepare to get ready for the upcoming events, we decided to ask the students and teachers what their favorite part was about the band program. Uh, my favorite part, honestly, I love music, I love making music, I love sharing music and being able to just do that every day. So every part's my favorite part. Well, I like participating in band about about all, with all the songs that we get introduced to. I like the seasonings, I like the seasons of the songs. And I like how like at first we can't play the song worth crap at all. <laughs> and then we like, we like work as a team and we can work together to get the song done. As the year progresses, many students will be faced with the tasks coming up ahead of them in the band program. We decided to ask the students and teachers what were some of the biggest challenges they would have to face. Festival. Festival is like the final concert that we have and we get marked by judges. It's the most nerve-wracking concert we get and last year we got um, we got about a 95 or something like that which is one of the best actually that we've ever done. I think for that one probably just getting through festival just getting through the year in general. I don't think there's one big struggle or big challenge but just you know every day presents its own little little challenges and blips that we get to go through. As the band and its members prepare for festival, we hope to see them come out with a high score in the competition. For MCTV News, William Doney reporting. Welcome back. I'm William Doney and here's what's happening in the world of sports. Only four games last night in the NHL and Montreal had no trouble getting by Winnipeg beating them 7-4 and Arthur Kinnan had a three-point night with one goal and two assists. The San Jose Sharks lost to Calgary 2-3 as, as Kachuk and Hamilton both had two-point nights. Washington beat on 5-2 as Ovechkin got his 1,000th point, and the Panthers beat the Islanders 2-1 as Zizekas scored the winning goal. In the NBA, Houston took a loss to the Minnesota Timberwolves 119-105, and Wigan scored 28 points and Towns had 18 rebounds. The Philadelphia 76ers snapped a losing streak, beating the New York Knicks in a nail-biting game, coming down to a buzzer beater to win it from TJ McConnell. In an upsetting game, the Cleveland Cavaliers fell to the Portland Trail Blazers 86-102, off of C.J. McCollum's 27 points. And finally, Memphis fell to Russell Westbrook and the Thunder as he tallied his 18th triple-double of the season. This weekend in the NFL sees four division playoff games. On Saturday, Seattle takes on Atlanta and the Houston Texans square off against the 14-2 New England Patriots. On Sunday, the Pittsburgh Steelers are on the road against the Kansas City Chiefs and the Packers attempt to upset the Cowboys in Dallas. Turning to MCHS Sports, both the senior boys and girls team were in action last night against the Barhead Griffins at home. The senior boys took the win in a crushing victory, 82-35, yet the senior girls fell 59-53. Coming up next, reporter Sydney Jones brings us a look at the, my squad, the JV boys basketball team, and our home tournament back in December. Before the Christmas break, the JV boys basketball team got their chance to prove themselves in a home game against the Bandits. Players on the team, including co-captain William Doney, set goals each time they play a game, whether they be long-term or short-term. I would like to see our team finish with a good seating in our zone, and I'd also like to see our team, as we're a relatively young team, we only have grade 10s, and we are also the uh, first JV team in many years of MCHS. I would like to see us accomplish just teamwork, see if we can work together, see if we can make it to where most teams haven't been able to make it. We did beat our in-game goal on our Saturday game. On Saturday, we uh, scored 55 points when 40 was our goal. Every home game, the boys dress to impress with their fancy ties and dress pants. So why is this a tradition? I asked the boys why they wear these t formal clothing before a game. It's a tradition that's been at MCHS for years, and it shows, hey, he's on the team, look, he's cool, and teachers come up to you and say, oh, hey, good luck today. I'm um, just kind of like to show our respect for the team and show that we care. Even though the JV boys lost their game, they will always play to the best of their abilities, and they still speculate how they will play during the game. I'm hoping I'll be able to play to the best of my ability, lots of energy, draw a lot of fouls, but I'm, my main focus today is going to be 
helping my team improve and not so much on my personal game. Make sure to support the JV and senior teams by coming to the games and cheering them on. For MCTV News, this is Sydney Jones reporting. Let's, get, let's take a look at what's going on at MCHS this week. A trip of a lifetime meeting will be held tomorrow at lunch in room 206. If needed, make sure to see Mrs. Whittle Williams for any other details. The yearbook cover contest ends tomorrow. Please have all your entries into Miss Wiley by 2 o'clock tomorrow. Any late entries will not be accepted. Need your MCTV News fix? If so, head online to www.bowdestein.net. Our digital, digital archive is expanding and will soon include all episodes aired during our last 23 seasons. For all these and all, all other school information, keep connected by listening to the daily announcements in Block 3. Log in on to the school's website at www.mchs.gsaker.ab.ca. At following the school on Twitter at MCHS Wolves or search the hashtag MCTV News. There's a lot of hidden talent in MCHS, some more unique than others. In this report, we showcase the amazing ability juggling as performed by grade 9 student Jordan Ingram Harvey. Amber St. Dennis brings us this story. There are many hidden talents at MCHS, singing and playing an instrument to dancing and riding a unicycle. But one talent that puts everyone in awe is juggling. What's even more amazing is that Jordan Imgrund Harvey has taught himself. I've been juggling for about a year, little over a year. I just saw it on YouTube one day and thought that was pretty cool. So I just practiced a lot at it and eventually I became a proficient juggler. As talented as he is, juggling definitely takes a lot of patience, focus, and hand-eye coordination, something not many of us have. But despite his natural abilities, Jordan stays modest about his craft. I would consider myself a fairly good juggler, but I would definitely not consider myself the best. There's always something new to learn, and you can always build on your current skill level. And for Jordan, juggling is more than just a hobby. There are many things you are able to take and apply to your everyday life from this talent. There are also many things to learn and love about it. But for him, it gives some valuable lessons on the art of balancing life. Well, it teaches me to persevere at stuff, because like when I look at something that looks difficult, it teaches me that I just have to try it and work and work at it until it eventually becomes easier. It will be interesting to see how his abilities will progress throughout the next three and a half years at MCHS. From MCTV News, this is Amber St. Dennis reporting. That's our show for today. Thanks for tuning in. Join us again next week for our final episode of the semester when hosts Skylar Lomala and Jasmine King bring us a look at Ugly Sweater Day, MCTV bloopers, final exams, this day, this day in history, all this plus sports and your seven-day weather forecast on the Wednesday, January 18th broadcast of MCTV News. So, what are you thinking about the new year? I just hope it's better than the last. Uh, 2016 was pretty terrible. I think we all can agree on that. Rip Lost a lot of people. Rip Carey Fisher. Yeah, Rip Carey Fisher, Princess Leia. Well, I guess that's all for today. From all of us at MCTV News, I'm Mark Justin. And I'm Christopher McDonald. Have a great day. Uh, have a great afternoon, MCHS.